Hello, so um, this video is about the new operating system release for Raspberry Pi OS. It was released in uh, October uh, last month and it's, um, you know, it runs on any Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm testing this on a Raspberry Pi 3. B plus and the the new Raspberry Pi was released um, about a month ago so um, just maybe a, a performance test might help determine if it's a good uh, buy but um, uh, this one here it's about a hundred uh, two hundred megabytes larger than the older version. Um, there was another one that I was using, uh, Legacy. It was about 800 megabytes. So the size increased. Um, and the one I'm using is, is just the regular one. So it's about a one gigabyte, um, 1.1 gigabytes. So, I, I was just testing, um, like, YouTube, and uh, right now my memory is around 466 megabytes uh, of RAM out of 1,000. So, opening up YouTube uh, brought it all, all the way up to, like, 700 or even 800, and it was running really slow. So I couldn't even really use the browser. I mean, it wasn't even loading. And that was on Firefox. And uh, I'm also testing Chromium, but they're both around the same. So the, the RAM's kind of, you know, increasing. So by the time it ends up loading everything, it's, it's over 700 megabytes. So, I mean, in my opinion, it's not really... Uh, obviously, it's just um, an in, in incremental improvement in the the operating system. It it's not really gonna improve it uh, with with the Raspberry Pi three. So there's there's really a limit to how much you know speed it's gonna run. Um, now this is on a really slow micro SD card, so. I mean, there might be a little bit of uh, performance issues there, but o overall, it's not really going to improve if you have a faster SD card that, that much for for this. But, I mean, if you got, like, a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, you know, I think the video performance is probably going to be a little better. Um, so, yeah, it's I mean, it's already, you know, 650 or so. So by the time it actually starts flying, it's like even right now my mouse is almost frozen. It it even takes a while. Like I had to restart it just to um, I had to unplug the Raspberry Pi because I couldn't even close YouTube. So I I don't really think it's practical to use this. Um, I mean, like now I can move the mouse again, but this is like with a fresh install on a eight gigabyte. So, um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, so there's another operating system that you uh, can see in the, the tab right there, and that's, um, Sataz. I, I made another video on it with an Atom processor, and I also did one last summer, um, where I did run a couple browsers, so, um, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus does run pretty well with that, and there's a really easy uh, way to install it. But since um, it's basically doing the last thing, the, the thing it did last time, um, I'm just going to unplug it and uh, restart it. So on the right I have here, um, I believe it is a 2.5 amp charger, which is really what you need to really get the full performance 
um, of this Raspberry Pi. It doesn't have that little Thunderbolt icon when you use just like a 1 or 2 amp uh, charger, but I'm going to just unplug it here. But um, this is like a Verizon phone charger. And um, it says two. Oh, actually, it's a 2.1 amp, but that should be more than enough for for this. I mean, it might recommend two and a half amp, but that's more than enough. And I'm using the, a really short USB cable, so it's not really like one of those weak ones. And then I'm just using a really like. Uh, cheap uh, TV monitor just because I wanted the memory to run a little bit the, the frame buffer running a little faster on uh, 720p or 760p um, so yeah I mean it just loads a, a whole lot faster here and um, as you can see I mean the boot up time isn't that long but it's uh this is yeah the October 2023 edition so this was just released last month but I mean overall with 1 gigabyte of ram it's it's just really slow for for the operating system um So the one I'm going to install is uh, quite a bit uh, faster, and uh, it'll probably be a lot more fun to to browse around here. Now it did restart a few times when I think it was running updates, and I wasn't just sure if it was maybe not plugged in really well but I mean the the boot up time wasn't wasn't really bad um, but everything else um, other than like running one or two chrome tabs doesn't really appear to be very slow I mean this does have wired connections so that's not really Oh, well, I guess I had to get the low voltage, but I mean it's it's running at like two two amps, so that's ten watts, and I only have like a USB keyboard and a USB mouse plugged in, so that really isn't more than five watts. So there should be enough power for for one of these, but um. Yeah, I mean, 290, 300 megabytes without running anything is quite a bit of RAM, so... For, for a Raspberry Pi 3, even though it's quad-core, it's not really the fastest quad-core. It's only in, I mean, it's an A53, which I think is actually decent. Um, yeah, that does happen every so often, but it can be safely ignored. Yeah, Bluetooth is pretty convenient with this because then you can use wireless uh, headphones or uh, headset. So I'm gonna click no for that because the, uh, the tabs were just way too uh, slow. So, um, I posted a link for this in my other video for Slitas, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll run through the download process because it's really super easy to, to find. Um, you just click on this dub file and, oops, I think I clicked on the wrong one. Yeah, this one here, the dual boot. Because all you really need to have is this, um, the official Raspberry Pi OS desktop. 
and then it'll install uh, a dual boot just by running the script here. It requires like zero technical experience other than ignoring this unsecure untrusted link. So once you press keep all you have to do is just click on it and it'll run the installation usually it does uh, okay I don't recall seeing this before hmm. Oh, that's new. I don't think I got that last time. Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's try that again. Downloads. Maybe I don't have the package manager. Hmm. I don't recall having that issue before. Package install. Well, I think the process was a little different. I'm just, I, I know the Debian installers have a really like one click thing, but maybe I, maybe the process changed. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. You just click install. Fortunately, it didn't change drastically, but it's basically the same process. Okay, so once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and restart and see how it uh, performs. I don't think it really has any audio or, or video codecs installed uh, that run really smoothly, so um, 
the YouTube support might not really work really well, even if I'm able to get, like, Chrome installed, which uh, I don't recall it was, um, you know, pre-installed last time I, I, I used it, but may as well see what's, what's new. Yeah, I think the update, the installation seems to be taking a little longer, although it is a slower micro SD card. But it's only a 21 megabyte file, so it can't possibly take that long. Okay. Sometimes forget where the progress is, so I just leave the mouse there so I can see if it moved. Uh, I yep, no, it didn't move. Yep. And it looks like that was way back in 2014, so I don't think it really is, is really a new package. But, um, but as long as you can update it, you know, it may not be the most up-to-date uh, or secure OS, but it's still going to be more than ten times as fast as uh, as this operating system for for some applications. All right. Well, it did look like it moved, so um, so it's gonna be ready to to restart soon. Okay, so next, um, there really isn't much to do here other than just restart it, and it should just appear right away. Well, oh, that's just a voltage thingy.
Huh. I don't think it gave the option, which suggests that it either didn't install or some new process maybe skipped over it or something. Now that's unfortunate. Um, I could I could check to see if maybe I missed it or I could maybe reinstall it just to I don't think that happened before package install it might have been developed yeah maybe for a different operating system and maybe it just didn't really get noticed when when they made a change uh, they I mean the support for something like this probably wouldn't be too high uh, so it's not even clear if they made a fix for it or if there is a fix even needed but I think I'll just try this one more time before I do that it's probably still loading here I think I already did try opening it twice, so I will just close one or two of those. Or maybe I already uh, shouldn't have closed both of them. I thought I clicked on it three times, but... Oh, okay, there we go. I think I should try, probably just shut it down because it's possible the restart didn't actually take me to the boot screen potentially, but uh, I don't know if that's really the issue. Package install. Install. Okay, I think I installed it a few times now. So, instead of restarting it, I think I'll just go through the shutdown option just in case it uh, it skips over that. Um, I don't really know if that's the case, but I may as well try it. Well, it is loading from the... I mean, it is showing activity, but it's not... It seems to be skipping over. I don't... Yeah, I don't think it would... I mean, I could try installing an older version of Raspberry Pi, but I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, Well, I'll, I'll make another video and I'll, I'll install the earlier Raspberry Pi OS.